fellow book lovers, welcome back to the Bibliovert channel. My name is Jacqueline and I don't know about you, but I started off with good intentions to keep my TBR pile manageable. Um, however, it's gotten a little out of control. What started with just a few books and then went to a cart has now nearly become its own entire bookshelf. <laughs> So I thought today um, I would try and tackle that. So I am going to read a random book off of my TBR list. I actually put a question out on our Instagram, the Bibliovert podcast, and asked people to choose a number between one and 50. So I'm just going to choose one of your responses at random, and that's how I am going to pick the book that I read. I have more than 50 books on my TBR shelf. However, a lot of them are like full series. Um, or different things like that. So I'm merely going with whatever book is next in the series that I have not read yet, if I've already started the series, or the first book in the series. Um, I also have a fairy loot unboxing, so we're going to get to that. This is the January fairy loot box. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So I think I'm going to start with the fairy loot unboxing first. Um, I will put this timestamp on the video if you want to skip it so that you don't have spoilers and just get into the rest of the video. So I actually do know what this month's book is. Um, I did spoil that for myself and I'm super excited because it is actually our February Patreon book buddy read. So it kind of came in a timely manner, um, but we'll get into that uh, once we get to the book. But other than that, I do not know anything else in this book. All I know is that it is like Greek and Roman mythology inspired, which I love. So I'm super excited about this. Let's get started. Okay, so it looks like we have our spoiler card and it's super pretty. Um, I am going to put it aside so that I don't spoil myself, but absolutely beautiful artwork. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> we also have like, a wooden cooking spoon. That's so cute. And it said, did you know food is infinitely <laughs> more scrumptious when you're in love? Lovely War by Julie Berry. That is really, really cute. I love this. I can't wait to put that in my kitchen. The next one. Oh, it's a book sleeve. Okay, so I've actually really been wanting a book sleeve and I didn't really know about them before Bookstagram, but I just like haven't bought one for myself. And so this actually makes me really excited. <laughs> because I love them. I think they're so cool. So this says, but in a solitary life, there are rare moments when another soul dips near yours as stars once a year brush the earth by Madeline Miller. Oh, I love that. So I've read Circe by Madeline Miller, and I think this quote is from that one, but I have not read um, Song of Achilles, and I really want to because I loved Circe. So that's definitely on my list. I don't own it yet, but I just need to go ahead and buy it. So that's beautiful. I'm really excited about that. Okay, so this says Cupid and Psyche in it, or Psyche. Help me out. I realize that I will read a lot of words um, and like pronounce them in my brain and then have no idea how to actually say them. So when I use them, <laughs> I have a running list of words that I've pronounced incorrectly. Um, bedraggled is my personal favorite. So Cupid in Psyche, Cupid in Psyche, I have no idea. We'll see, but let's open it up. Oh, how cute. So it's like a little bowl. So cute. I feel like, um, you know, at the beginning of a Hercules movie when the muses are dancing and they're like on the ceramic bowls and stuff. I kind of feel a little bit like that. I love it. That's super cute. Okay, then we have this. I don't know. Oh, cute. It's a Medusa iron on patch. I love that. I don't have anything necessarily to iron it on to, but it's a beautiful patch. So, love that. And then we have another, oh, Fairy Loot exclusive metal bookmark. <gasps> How beautiful. Oh my gosh. <gasps> we have Percy Jackson fan art. I love that. That's beautiful. Okay, now we have the cards. We have, uh, I, I, I honestly don't know. I mean, maybe they're from the book from this month. 
I'm not sure. I think that this this could be the Wrath of the Dawn, um, Khalid and Shazi, but I'm not sure. So we'll have to see who they are. It's beautiful. So now we have the book, and again, I do know what it is, but I'm so excited. Ooh, okay, so we have gold edges. That's really pretty. Oh. And there's stenciled on this side. Oh my goodness, I almost can't even handle that. Stunning. Okay, so the book is Lore by Alexandra Bracken. I really love this cover. Oh, and that like matches the, oh, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let's, oh. I can't. Y'all, okay, tell me that this might not be one of the most, like, beautiful editions of- Oh, there's a pack. <laughs> this is so pretty. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. We love it. This is the reverse dust jacket. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Hello. I think I will enjoy reading this book this month. <laughs> so it's not going to be a sacrifice. And we have really pretty end plates. Stunning. Signed. Okay, so we also have another bookmark of the art from the spoiler card. <sighs> More fan art of the book. Absolutely stunning. Letter from Alexandra Bracken herself love it and then we have the fairy scoop okay so the spoiler card says that lore is a contemporary fantasy inspired by greek mythology and is set in the modern world it is a high octane tale of power destiny love and redemption cool so apparently i was right yay <laughs> this is inspired by the wrath and the dawn and this is khalid and shazi so that is it for the January Fairy Loot Box, and I really like it. I love Greek mythology. I'm happy that there are things that I can use and are functional, so I'm super, super excited to use the bookmark and the book sleeve, the trinket dish. I love that. I can hold jewelry in it, so I'm super excited. I thought that this was a great month. Okay, so again, I put up a question on our Instagram story a couple days ago asking for um, a number between 1 and 50 to help me pick a random book off of my bookshelf. I will say this, um, I did not count a lot of like my classics or like my leather bound um, like collectors books um, just because one, I don't want to ruin those and then two, <laughs> I might be biting off more than I can chew with some of those um, in the hopes that I can read this um in a timely manner <laughs> so kind of cheated a little bit um so i'm sorry but now i'm just going to scroll and pick a random one okay we have dj carmen 201929 said 47 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 all right, we have The Merciful Crow. So we have The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen, and I'm actually really excited about this because one of my podcast co-hosts, Anna Kate, um, just read this and said she actually really liked it. So I am excited. So it's about 369 pages, which is great. Um, I don't think this will take me too long to read. Okay, so this book is about a girl named Vi. V. I'll go with Vi. It's about a girl named Phi who is going to be the future chieftain of a cast of mercy killers. Um, and they are the crows, I believe. And uh, she is called in um, to take care of some of the royal dead. And it's the crown prince and his um, bodyguard. And she finds out that they have faked their death in order to get away from the queen, who apparently is quite ruthless. Crown Prince Jasmir strikes a deal with Phi and says, if you help me get to the throne, then I will make sure that the crows are protected all throughout my reign. So I'm going to get comfy and cozy going to probably make some tea and light a candle or two and then let's go ahead and jump right on into this bad boy
So I just finished part one of The Merciful Crow. I am on page 137. I'm going to be completely honest. It has been about nine hours <laughs> since I started this book. And I have had a very difficult time getting into it. However, that has changed over the last 30 pages. I think the things that I struggled with was that the world building was very sudden and it wasn't fleshed out very well and it just kind of threw a lot at you and I felt like there were a lot of terms and phrases that weren't explained at all. And so I was very, very lost and I felt like I was supposed to know what was going on and I had absolutely no idea what was going on um and then this is a small thing but some of the names uh, kind of threw me off and and almost made it difficult for me to latch on to the characters and i realized that it was done for a purpose that it was supposed to signify a lot of what it was like for um, this particular caste system to grow up um, but like, for example, their names were like Kerr or Wretch or even Hangdog. Um, she named her cat Barf, which there's nothing wrong with that. For some reason, it just made it a little bit more difficult for me to latch on to the characters, um, if that makes sense. However, over the last like 30 pages or so, plot has seemed to pick up a lot. Um, I am starting to like the main characters more. Um, I'm starting to kind of get a better grasp of the magic and the world building. So originally I was struggling a lot. Like I was ready to DNF this book. Um, but decided to keep pushing through even though it did take me several hours. <laughs> um, so anyway, I I think I'm going to continue reading it. I'm hopeful that it gets better. It is pretty late. It's after 11 at this point. Um, I will continue reading this tomorrow and I will check in once I finish part two um, to talk more about my thoughts and where it's at. So I decided to keep reading <laughs> and it's a couple hours later. Um, I just finished part two and it's definitely has gotten better. I'm actually enjoying it for the most part. Um, I wouldn't say it's a five star read or even a four star read. It's probably around a three, three and a half. Like it's definitely keeping my attention, but it's not like the most gripping um, book that I've ever read. The plot is good and I enjoy the characters, but I don't like love them. I think I, I don't love the storytelling. There's some things that kind of get a little lost or convoluted, so I'm a little bit confused and I'll read something and be like, I don't really understand what just happened, but I also don't feel like it was important. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely better. So I'm kind of torn, like, do I stay up and keep reading and finish it tonight, even though it's 1.30, or do I wait till tomorrow? I only have like 130 pages left. Um, I'll probably stay up because I have no chill. <laughs> So it's the next day and I did indeed stay up last night to finish reading The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen and I can't tell if that is an indicator of how much I enjoy a book is that I'm willing to stay up until past three o'clock in the morning to finish it or if that's an indicator of me <laughs> and uh, something that I probably need to work on um in my insomnia but i will say this i did end up enjoying it for the most part so i liked but i didn't necessarily love um most of the characters and though i appreciated the plot and i kind of liked where i was going i really did enjoy a lot of the discussions around like the caste systems and um, what it meant for people who were in the lowest caste and i appreciated um, a lot of the royals seeing the pain and the plight of those in the lowest caste and then to see the inequality and the injustice um, that they faced daily. Um, so I really did enjoy like that conversation, that aspect of this book. And that was a, a fairly large aspect of this book. So for, for that alone, I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, 
But other than that, I'm not particularly interested in continuing the series. I, I know that there are at least two books. I'm not really quite sure if there are gonna be any more after that, if it's a duology or more, I'm not sure. Um, I probably will read like a synopsis of the next one just so I can see kind of how it wraps up. I think I'm going to end up giving a three star to this. I just didn't love it, it was just kind of like a meh read for me. So I'm going to write down my review in my bullet journal, so I will do that right now. That is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic week. Happy reading and I'll see you next time.